Well, Clearwater Marine Aquarium has been around since the mid-70s. Uh, this building we're in right now was the original water treatment plant for the city of Clearwater. So the tanks kind of made sense for an aquarium back in the 70s. The city donated it to us. And we converted it into a tank for animals. So we go way back to the mid-70s. And uh, the work has been pretty much the same all that time. We've grown up over the years. We're bigger now, more to do, more to see here. But the main mission of what we do, we're a nonprofit 501c3, is pretty much the same, which is centered around rescuing marine life and that aspect of it. My name is David Yates. I'm the director at uh, Clearwater Marine Aquarium. We're in Clearwater, Florida, uh, the home of Winter the Dolphin, Clearwater Marine Aquarium. I remember I watched uh, A Dolphin's Tale with my little nephews and my little niece. This is the place where Winter the Dolphin lives. Winter the Dolphin is really an amazing story, and I realize this is just an amazing life story of a young dolphin that refused to give up, had all kinds of issues, all kinds of challenges. Again, keep in mind, our job is to get marine life well, and then put them back in the, the ocean or the Gulf where they'll survive. If they won't survive, they're kept here for as a permanent resident. In Winter's case, she was very, very sick, almost had no chance of survival. So we brought her in from the hospital perspective, and she lived minute by minute. Really wasn't, we were advised to euthanize her and put her down that day that she arrived. We kept her alive, and she just amazed us with overcoming all the challenges she had in her life. So I knew that would inspire people around the world, but you never know how much. So I put it out to the media in fall 2006 and kind of told Winner's basic survival story of what she did, how she lost her tail, survived, never gave up, kept overcoming her issues, eventually got a prosthetic tail, and it just mushroomed around the world. And just kids all around the world, in literally every country, and wounded soldiers all around the United States and Europe saw her story and just connected to her overcoming story and they realized whatever my life challenge is, whatever it is, if this dolphin can do it, I can do it. And it just mushroomed around the world. It became a very generational inspiring story in that sense. But now beyond being just kind of a nice story, it's a responsibility I have to tell the story because I've, you know, I've seen the impact. The, the first weekend dolphin tale, the first movie came out, we had 10,000 emails that first weekend, just the first weekend. Since then, thousands of more of emails, calls, visits, letters, and, and normally it's, it's something like this. It's a mom saying, my daughter, my son is going through, and you fill in the blank. Chemotherapy, they're autistic, they're downs, they have a prosthetic leg, cleft palate, whatever it is. And let me tell you how Winner's story and, and my daughter's son hearing that literally changed my child's life and brought them out of their room where they were quiet, didn't have any friends, now they're living an active lifestyle. Winter literally spurred them to a life change. And that's happening every day by the thousands. So that's been very fascinating to see.